This video is sponsored by JLC PCB. JLC PCB is a well-known PCB prototype company in China. It is specialized in quick PCB prototype and in small batch production. You can order a minimum of 10 PCBs for just $2. Check description for more information. Hey hello friends, welcome to another video. In this video, I will show you how to design and develop a programming shield for ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. If you remember my video how to program ESP8266 using Arduino, I have mentioned that the pins of the ESP8266 Wi-Fi module are not breadboard friendly. There I have used jumper wires and breadboard for programming ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. Apart from breadboard and jumper wire, I still had to connect the level connector register push button to reset the module separately. So I have decided to make a PCB for the ESP8266 Wi-Fi module with all the required component like DPDT switch for selecting programming mode and normal mode, push button for reset, headers to insert the ESP8266 Wi-Fi module and the level converter registers for the RX pin of the module. For designing of my PCB, I am using Easy EDA. Easy EDA is very easy and simple for designing the PCB. After designing the PCB, I directly order to JLC PCB for manufacturing of PCB. After uploading the Gerber file, software automatically detects the default settings. However, if you want, you can change these settings. Now save to cart to complete your order. After 7 days, my PCB arrived at my place. sunshine and rainbows. It will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. You're better than that. After assembling the all the components on the PCB, press the switch button to programming mode position and press the reset button once. Now the programming mode is activated. ESP8266 Wi-Fi module can be programmed using Arduino IDE. And in order to do that, we need to make a few changes to the Arduino IDE. First go to file, then preferences in the Arduino IDE and in the additional board manager URL section. Paste this URL copied from description and then click OK. Now go to Tools, Board, uh, then Board Manager and search for ESP8266 in search field. 
select the ESP8266 by ESP8266 community and then click on install. I already installed it. Now our shield is ready to flash the program. Uh, let me show you example by uploading a blink sketch. Open the Arduino IDE. In the board option, go to tools, then board. Uh, so look for generic ESP8266. Select the generic ESP8266 board. Select the appropriate port number in the IDE. Now open the blink sketch. And change the LED pin to 2. Here 2 means GPIO 2 pin of the ESP8266 module. Hit the upload button and the code will take a while to compile and upload. We can see the progress at the bottom of the IDE. This source program is successfully uploaded.